Let's do some chords to the Stray Cat strut. So I just showed the intro lick was something like. And the octaves. I think we're just going to hit them once, sorry. Now we got some chords, a C minor, B flat seven, A flat seven, and G seven. Uh, you could go. That's a C minor, which you can do the full bar chord just as well. Eighth fret, index super duper straight and flat. Thumb on the back of the neck helps keep that index straight. See the space in there? That helps. If you're like this, you gotta leave a little space. All right, all right. Yeehaw, here we go. So you can go C minor's index ring and pinky. Middle's out of there. You can lay middle here to help crunch that flat and straight. Then B flat seven is two frets towards the headstock of the guitar. I call that down because it sounds lower. That's your index flat, middle here because it's a major chord, ring on the fifth string, eighth fret. That's like. So we're gonna kinda go dingy ding. Then we got an A flat seven, same shape, two frets down, dingy ding. G7, down one more fret. So those are the same. The, min the C minor, eighth fret, is. That's dingy ding. <laughs> dingy ding, right. <laughs> but that timing really helps. And then you can do maybe just, uh, check this out. And then you got your verse, similar thing. I mean, you could just feel it really. And then the next bit is uh, similar. If you can't tell, I'm looking at a book here. Urgh, fighting the book. It's that. All right. Very cool. Ain't got enough dough to pay the rent. I'm flat broke, but I don't care. I strut right by with my tail in. Then you got an F minor. We're gonna do same frets, but one string over. I call that way over towards the floor versus up or down. All right, so we're gonna go. So we're gonna do F minor, which is index flat and straight, same kind of deal, only middle ring pinky on the second, fourth, and third strings. The root is here. That's an F minor, E flat. The root is the sixth fret, fifth string. It's a major chord. Got your ring finger laying flat. Two frets down towards the headstock is D flat. And C7. That's your index ring and pinky. Middle's out of there or laying flat here. So, <coughs> excuse me, we do that line about two or three times. So, so however, however many times that was, you just gotta sing it. Then you've got, uh, we're kind of getting ready for the first solo, like a. 
it seems like there he gets smaller. He's only hitting like three strings, three, not the fat one, but the next three over. C minor, B flat, A flat, seven, G seven. Hey, don't cross my path. Oh no, the solo. Whoa ho ho ho. Let's try it a little bit. So you got your ring finger on the third string. 10th fret. Okay, no bend. I, I probably used to go. But now I'm reading it. I'm seeing it's not bent. Kind of nice to know. 10th fret, 3rd string. That's an F to your index laying flat at 8th fret on the two skinny strings. That's representing C minor. Now we're going to bend. So we got... Cool. <laughs> I didn't plan to go this far, by the way. <laughs> Crazy, man. Now we do the chords. On the skinny strings so I didn't really explain that very well maybe I'll come back and do this explain it I'll just give you a little preview here all right I think I'll save the solo for later but I didn't mean to go that far really but I got carried away I was having fun so it's kind of fun to play on acoustic this poor old thing look I wore the back of the neck paint off from teaching the chicken dance we're from Iowa hey we like it all right no that's not true not the chicken dance but this has been my main uh, teaching guitar since about 1994 poor thing has really gotten uh, chewed up I'm just sitting here in my lesson studio so that's what I do all day is teach guitar and make videos now see ya